welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake 2. Okay, let's go meet Odin because obviously something's wrong with him. mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. So I guess we can't talk to Odin. Even though it's obvious that I think he can sense that something happened. Remorse. This is the one. For anybody the old gods of Asgard to memorize. She will tell me where to find it. Crowds go wild for the old gods of Asgard Ragnarok tour. The rock and roll group Old Gods of Asgard are leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through major US cities. Ooh, here we go. The legendary heavy rock band Old Gods of Asgard mourns the loss of their di divinely talented guitarist Bob Balder. Fat Bob, as he was effectively and ir um, ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving his bandmates Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician will be sorely missed, and also by the band's numerous fans. When asked about his loss, Tor Anderson had this to say, Get the explicitive out of my face. Balder is in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Bob was too beautiful a soul for this world, added Owen. What this means for the band and their upcoming album remains to be seen. Okay, I was always wondering because I noticed that there was always three of them by the looks of it. I think even it was like shown in the old one. But they never really stated to what happened to them. Is there anything in here? No. How was that crazy old lady was? Well, I might as well actually do this first. Anga's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. 
The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Obviously, you must know more than. Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl clings in. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus' remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. That's where Alan Wake came Yaga's in. Yaga's remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. And we know how that got there because of Lake. Thanks to his assistance. Tub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the lake started appearing. That sucks. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Hello there. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazine. Name won't make the man worse. <laughs> Even the Swedish name. I'm Ahti. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Blum liked to talk. <laughs> Why is that not part of evidence? That's the weirdest thing, in my opinion. So I need to go to the dining room. Got it.
Please be safe, Odin. to cut this. Okay. What is this going Okay, that's where the basement is. You know what? I probably wouldn't have been able to keep going anyway, not thinking about it. Probably the door got locked. I need bolt cutters. need to find that doorknob. That's the one thing, though. If I get that doorknob, what am I stuck on? What the frick is going on? That was weird. I, like, teleported to it somewhat. That's the bus driver. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Remember, buy more fuses, many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. V8. Doesn't budge. I'll read all of these once we're like somewhere safer. Emmett taken. Rose Bear Fuse is now locked away because someone auntie keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. V8. So I need to get to the laundry room. Can I push this open or no? Nope. Off. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Seen in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger, born Baba Jackla in Finland, has recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has pushed the old manor house outside town, and the couple has already settled in. In his home country, and uh, internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known, respected, um, mature filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar Bergman. 
His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature called titled Tom the Poet. Um, in the conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel, Oceanville Hotel. That was the one in The Dark Place. This reporter believes that the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane Dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to the faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness and reaches a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will pull out our town of, on the artistic map. Okay, you can kind of see maybe Alan Wake for how they look. Oh, okay, this is what we need. So the code should be in here somewhere, I think. Cynthia oh, wow. Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. I guess it's time to read these. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Aww. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things. Touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. 
That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. A lot of interesting information right there. Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me, BB. 273 I just need to find the box a fuse could come in handy. Really? Is it this? There. Power's back on. Okay. Actually, we can upgrade something. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream. There we go. So now, we can do this. I don't think it shoots both in the same time, so I'm just gonna hope it... Kind of just like shoots at one at a time. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Wait. That was the that was the room in the dark place. That's where Alan Wake is. Uh oh. It's not opening. All right. Hold on a second. I need to find. Charger, because my thing's about to die. That ain't it. Here it is. At least this won't constantly fall out. <sighs> All 
All right. Uh, okay. We might get attacked. I'm not too sure here. Shit. Careful, Saga. It was until the water. They're here, but Rose isn't. The nightmare watch dark and just look at the end. Began it coming. Okay, now up one more. The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Plum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on anymore. I'll do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left to Tom now. I don't know what if I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. The shadows are moving. There's no more light. No more lamps. I can't find my way out of the room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I could. He took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just Tom and I forever. I found something funny while I was down there, a newspaper article about Tom, but it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies, he was a poet, a magnificent poet. I dug around and found film equipment, supposedly also Tom's. What's happening? This isn't right, I know it isn't. That is so correct. Okay, so... A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? No, that's where she used to live. Because she used to live in the dam because it could produce energy at all times. A power station? Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? She was. Did she know about the Dark Presence? She did. I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Tor's a romantic, huh? Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, 
Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. There we go. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Maybe. It's really hard to say anymore, with everything being so weird. Tor is not becoming a Taken, but Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Trying to keep him away from me? Oh, hi, Ami. You're still in here. How do I get in? So, if you recall, it said something about glass room where flowers grow. So I was guessing like a greenhouse. Body isn't disappearing. Huh. Is there something more in the office over here? Stupid. No, this corner. Yeah, I don't get it. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. My face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. 
this the body of a missing youth discovered in the flood bunker the local girl Nora Heisberg age 15 who went missing on Saturday of last week was discovered dead in the sealed underground bunker near Valhalla nursing home in Bray Falls cause of death has been determined to be drowning incident occurred during a gathering of local youth at the bunker. Nora was uh, was first reported missing by her parents Sunday morning when they discovered their daughter had not returned home that night before. The police were contacted and they received a tip to check the bunker from one of the victim's acquaintances. People, the police are treating the tragedy as an accident. The community mourned losses the young daughter. Oh boy. No power. Can't use the switch. I need to get the power on to use the switch. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Very much like the dark place where Alan Wake is stuck at. There we go. It seems very picky on trying to get obtain items. I think that needs to be fixed. Because that's just going to cause way more problems down the line if it keeps doing that. Something just changed. Not gonna comment that this time? I always did before. Center. Oh, we're getting hints. 
Cynthia. She's here. A dead end. Oh, changed out here. I did do that. Oh, back here again. Ending up back here. Why? You know, live healing all of a sudden. Not too bad of an issue, just weird. This is just supposed to be a loot room. Don't want to... Those were the bolt cutters. So we're just getting tons of healing. Kind of needs to calm down now. Complain about one thing. Yes. And then something else starts up. Sorry about that noise. Didn't mean to do that. If you heard it. <laughs> uh... Yes, this opens up so much. Okay, we might get attacked when we turn this off. Feels like it's leading up to that. Do it.
Damn, I was just one shot away. Hey, if you open this up, I'm gonna take a look in. <laughs> what can I say? I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been any manuscript pages. Like, I've been noticing that they're sometimes in here. But I'm always worried I'm going to miss them. You know? I wouldn't mind playing this game again. This has really been fun, and I could really just trudge along by myself if I do have to play this again. But... I'm one of those things where I'd rather not leave two. I can't wait to like get into areas. There's so much now, it's gonna be opened up. Like, you don't know how much that really changes everything. I wonder where Yako is then, because if he was helping out with Elmo, then he has to be somewhere then. But why are they part of Rip Nora. Back again. Gotta go deeper. Seems to always never show the accurate amount of ammo in your thing until like, you're done. Like it shows like, oh, there's only one. Because you collected one thing. But it's like, gave me actually way more. Tour. Is Tor breaking out of it? Tor! Where are you? Can you hear me? It's so dark. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. Tor, I'm here. I'm coming. Took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Saga. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I can't stay in the water. Shit. 
Where'd she go? There must be a way to get the power back on. Tour. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. All right, we're going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it like I did, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.